So I just realized that I totally forgot to do a pre-game interview, I guess you would call it, so I apologize for that. See if I get corrected. Larger venti. Can I get a large cinnamon dolce latte? Yeah, you cinnamon dolce latte. Anything else? No, that's it. Five forty one. Thanks. Thank you. What the shit? Hey, five forty one. Hand this to you. And then I'm gonna hand this to you. Good. Thanks, man. Usually they say. Vente cinnamon dolce latte when they hand you your coffee. Starbucks! Yo, 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 Sly Dog here. I had a session Thursday night down at the Grand Vic in Elgin. Um, great night, can't complain. Uh, we ended up leaving up, which we'll get to at the end here. Um, I want to apologize ahead of time as I didn't write down as many hands as I should have. I mean, I typically put them in my phone under notes, um, but I just found this new app that tracks your play and um, it'll also track hands. So I can real quick go in there and do, 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 and have all the info. So I'm going to give that a shot uh, next sesh and see how that kind of goes. Um, so let's get into it. Um, first hand, I'm in the big blind, get dealt pocket queens. Middle position has ace 10 and the button has ace 6. There's a pre-flop raise of 7. Um, I want to say that came from the middle position. I forgot to mark that down. So the three of us call around, um, flop comes ace, seven, ten, rainbow. I check and it goes to the middle position. He raises 13. The um, button calls and the turn is a king. At this point, you know, I'm kind of scared of the ace and the king so I'm just kind of limping along um, I put the middle position on an ace wasn't real sure what the button had um, so I'm hoping we either hit a set at this point we have a gut shot straight so um, middle position raises 20 I figured that was kind of cheap the way the table was going so I call um, the uh, guy on the button calls river comes a jack we hit our straight I check middle position raises 40 um, button calls the 40 I kind of feel bad because I sucked out although I should have re-raised them to 120 I think three bet them to 120 um, but regardless either way we call um, we take down the pot next hand we have um, jack 10 of diamonds suited in the cutoff small blind has king king middle position player is in the hand uh, I'm not sure what cards he had he never showed I raise pre-flop, $8, calls around, flop comes out, queen eight jack. At this point, um, you know, I figure we're beat by queens. I check, everybody checks around, turn comes a six. Um, by everybody checking, I felt there was some weak hands in the pot. So I raised to 15, small blind bumps it to 30, 
uh, middle positions all in for the rest of his chips. I believe he had $40 total. River comes at 10. We hit our two pair. Um, you know, I figure we're pretty much good. Small blind, however, raises to 40 right away. Um, so this kind of put me off a little bit. I didn't know if maybe he popped a straight with a nine. So I just call the 40 um, and we take down the pot. Uh, another hand was a losing hand. Um, I limped in on the big blind with a seven. Uh, we went up against ace queen. Uh, flop came out, ace, ace, rag. I forget what exactly it was. It was rags all the way down the board. Um, we call, I think we risked about uh, 40 or $50 of our stack in this pot and we end up losing to ace, queen. So that's all the hands I had written down and I apologize again. I get so set into playing and uh, I forget what exactly I'm doing now so <laughs> with this whole vlog thing so yeah I know um, I'll write down more hands but I apologize um, we end up plus 345 for the night and uh, it was a good night so that brings our total to plus 360 over the first two sessions um, today is actually Saturday I didn't play last night. I uh, was editing vlogs, got those posted. Um, the Thursday session was the last one I had to finish up. I got half of it done. I had to shoot the hands and uh, I have to edit those. I'm going to upload and I'm going to head down to the Grand Vic tonight. I'm going to try to put in a 10 hour session um, just because I think right now we're at a little over 11 hours total. Uh, for our 30 hours a week, so I kind of got to get to grind in here. So, uh, but last night after I finished editing, um, I went on Bravo Poker. Shout out to Bravo Poker. Awesome app. Um, I believe the Grand Vic had like seven tables, one, two going, and there was a 20 person waiting list. So I figured even if I drove down, um, I'd be waiting around for two, three hours just to get on a table. I was pretty beat, so in that situation, I didn't want to uh, put us in a bad spot, being tired and whatnot, and uh, end up dumping some money back. So, um, yeah, gonna start the grind again tonight and Sunday, and kind of see how it goes. So I just realized that I totally forgot to do a pregame interview I guess you would call it so I apologize for that just left the Vic down in Elgin again I uh, played one two I think I got there around 5 5 30 checked out about 10 10 10 15 something like that you could see the boat in the back kind of behind that thing that's changing colors all those lights back there's the river boat uh, we're on the Fox River in beautiful Elgin downtown Elgin you can see the river behind me Woo. but uh, overall good game tonight um, started out a little slow was down uh, 150 130 we bought in for 200 um, ended up catching a couple good hands um, bounced us up to about three and then we had another good pot one guy all in another guy just calling um, had two pair so uh, checked out for 545. So with the plus 15 from the other night, that's 60, 360 were up so far. So definitely better results than last time. Um, so yeah, can't really complain. Um, just stopped down here to uh, kind of get some time lapse videos of these awnings they have changing lights, pretty cool. Um, I remember when I was a kid growing up in Elgin, this was kind of a shitty part of town and they've kind of redone it. It's really nice. You can see this real nice apartment building behind me. That's all uh, recently been re uh, 
renovated. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So, yeah, another good night at the Vic. Um, tonight's Thursday. Didn't get to play poker yesterday. Um, had a guy call in sick to work, so unfortunately, I got stuck working. So, yeah, um, we continue the grind and uh, looking forward to the weekend coming up. There is some tournaments going on nearby, so I'm thinking about maybe hitting one of those. If not, uh, we'll just stick to the one, two cash games. So, uh, but we might try something different, change up uh, setting a little bit. So we'll see, stick around. Don't forget to subscribe to the videos, click the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Mickey on the track.